20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both ways. See the world when I want to. When I want Shop to. Shopping when I want to. When I'm best, miss with interest, a show do. That'll do. $5,000 on the hotel stay. Guys, welcome back to the Ziggy Eat Show. What's up, guys? How you doing today? Guys, do you know what today is? You can probably tell by the title of the video, right? You want to tell them what today what is? What day is it? Tell us. Tell me. Look, tell the yeah. world. What day is it? It is National Barbecue, barbecue Day. day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and barbecue is one of his favorite things national. to have. Oh, BBQ Day. They have. When did they start having like a national, you know, orange soda day? And I'm saying, when did they start having national days for everything? Oh, from the beginning of time. I feel like it just, I feel like it recently became a thing. Mm. But I'm like, growing up, did you hear yeah, of National yeah, Barbecue true. Day? No. National Spaghetti Day? I yeah. mean, National White Toast Day? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm okay. just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> but guys, today for National Barbecue Day, we are bringing you what I would kind of consider to be like a classic Texas barbecue platter. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, of the places that we've had barbecue since yeah. we've been in Texas, they kind of serve them up, you know, with little side dishes, kind of like this. So what we have here up in the front, which he's most excited for. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not trying to pick it up. My no, friend might fall. No, don't. It's going to okay. fall apart. It's, yeah. it's so tender, guys. Yeah. It's literally falling off the bone. So we're not going to pick it up. But this is beef rib, barbecue beef rib. And they call this a dino rib because it's so... Ginormous. Sure it? Don't both pick hands. it. Both hands. No, don't pick it up, guys. I'm gonna drop a picture here of him holding it, uncooked, raw, raw, so you can yeah. just see the sheer yeah. size of it. It is shrunk since it's cooked. Um, I uncooked. It was weighing like that. This one rib weighed like almost three pounds, uncooked. So this is a big guy, <laughs> and then um. The, as I said, the rest. I can eat this whole thing by myself. I'm gonna be generous. Night nice today. I'm gonna let her really have a little He's piece. He's gonna share. He's gonna share. Just a little piece. So, um, for the size of our barbecue, and as I said, guys, usually, from the places that we've had, they usually serve these sides are similar. Mm -hmm. So we've got cornbread, we've got baked beans, and I made these baked beans from scratchy scratch scratch. Made the cornbread from scratchy scratch scratch. This is not jiffy, mm -hmm. and. <laughs> and potato salad. Now, we both like potato salad. He loves the traditional potato salad. I'm not so yes. much of a a lover of the traditional potato salad with the mayo. I, I It just creeps me out, cold potato with cold mayo. I, it's a thing. So, <laughs> Crazy. if I'm having it, it has to be room temperature. So, I made like a take on a German potato salad. And it's usually served warm or room temperature. There's no mayo. It's with like, you know, a vinaigrette. It, no it's, still, mayo. it's still potato creamy. Salad? It's still creamy. So, and it's delicious. It has okay. bacon in there and stuff like that. So, this is my take on a German potato salad. And then, they, for some reason, they always serve some pickles okay whether it's you know pickled peppers or pickled onions or carrots or something or pickle pickle right. <laughs> so i've got some pickles here oh i'm so excited to get to again you Dig know it? meat beans get it started get it popping what's this cornbread what's this some brand new you know potato to you know always help something new mm. dig in get started so let's dig in go ahead what do you want to start with grab your fork what do you want to start with? What do you beans. want to start with? The beans? Yeah. Okay, and I'll start with the potato salad since it's right in front of me. <laughs> Creamy potato salad. came from the garden, right? There are no beans from the garden. No? You're growing vegetables. It's a vegetable. Stop. Just start eating the food. Mm -mm. Delicious potato salad, guys. Wow. These are really good. I love Really it's good. creamy. You're not missing the mayo. I promise you. It has all the flavors from the bacon, the onions. Can I? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's switch. Let me sure. try the beans. 
and I made these baked beans using Peruvian beans. They're like my new favorite beans. <laughs> Shout out to Bird Martinez. She cooks um, Peruvian beans all the time. So she's the first person I've seen prepare per Peruvian beans. And I made them her way recently. It was freaking delicious. And I had like half a package left and I'm like, okay, since I'm doing barbecue, let me make some baked beans with it. Mm. You have one me over. This is really good. Something different. That's what you say. Have to have an open mind when it comes to food. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're not missing the mayo, right? It's too no. creamy. Mm -hmm. It is. And delicious. Mm. Is that vinaigrette on there? Delicious. Mid olive oil, mm -hmm. onion. There's some mustard on there. Oh, you know I love mustard. Mm -hmm. um, vinegar, everything. It's delicious. Yeah, you taste mm -hmm. everything. As soon as you put it in your mouth, you taste everything. All the flavors. Everything. Now, you ready for the showstopper? Of course. <laughs> I think we got to like make room, yes. you know? All right. You can put it down here in the front so they can still kind of... <clears throat> see it a little bit all right let's move the cornbread out the way <laughs> get the way get the way i don't want you right now all right oh my god guys this is like so freaking hey, look. this is the best way to show you look at this oh oh, oh. Huh? you see the steam coming off of it yeah it's so tender I want what, you do you, what do you they can see it you're pulling it apart well we got to pull it apart anyway you have to oh use your fork and just take it off neatly. I forgot to put the fuck over there. Yeah. All right, let me just, since you're so eager to rip it off the bone, let's dig in. Look at his goodness, guys. Good look at that. Ooh. Go ahead. You go first. No, you go first. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Just muss in your mouth. Butter. Right? Yeah, it's super, super tender. Super tender. Ignore the car. Yeah. Wow, this is delicious, guys. Delicious, soft, tender, juicy. This is um honey cornbread, honey baked cornbread. I used um raw and filtered honey. Let me just try a piece of the top cap. I wish I had a knife. Have you tried it? What? <laughs> the meat? Yeah. Oh, I thought you just, all I see is you cut it. I'm like, when are you going to try it? <laughs> this is what I see you doing. Like, when are you going to try it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tried it. It's, guys, it's like melt in your mouth. It's like butter, right? Yeah. Like butter. I cooked this sucker for four hours in the wow. oven. Four hours. Usually here in Texas, when you see the beef rib like this, it's usually smoked, like low and slow. But obviously, I do not have a smoker. <laughs> so I cooked it in the oven. Mm. Four hours, low and slow. Look at that, guys. Hmm? Mm. Look at that goodness. Barbecue deliciousness. This thing, like, literally just melts in your mouth. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then it has the crispy edge on the outside. Mm. Well, oh. Great job. Thank you. Great job. Fantastic. Are you guys celebrating? Guy, well, uh, what are you going to say? Unfortunately, unfortunately, this we will not be able to save you some. <laughs> this time. Yeah, we usually try to save you some, but... Not this time. I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know. It's going down. It's all a piece. Piece of bone. Mm. Try the cornbread. It's really moist. Are you guys celebrating National Barbecue Day? What are you having? Mm -hmm. Let us know. What's your favorite barbecue meal? What do you like to have when your barbecue spread? Yes. Because so many, besides the meat, of course, the, the important thing. 
it's a lot of different sides that people have. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have beans, you have potato salad, pickles, cornbread. Some people have mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, of course. Mm -hmm. um, collard greens, you have french fries, sweet potato fries. The list goes on and on. It's endless. Yeah. So, something came to my. Oh, these pickles are really pickly. Pickly? Mm hmm. Not even a word. Kind of like, you know, it hit me back here. Mm. Very pickly pickles. It's good. Thank you. Delicious cornbread. Very moist. I like the honey flavor. You can taste the honey. But, um, guys. Something that came to my mind. What came to your mind, sweetheart? <laughs> I'm about to share it. That I was wondering about. I think I saw someone post it on Facebook and it just had me thinking. Like, what are your top, the top three things on your bucket list? You want to go ahead and answer? Me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell the world. Tell our YouTube family. Top yeah, three things. It's kind of like personal, you know? It's like, you know, personal. Yeah, it's family, you know? Huh. For sure. Top three things on your bucket list and go. Top three things, okay. Get my book, get my book published. Mm -hmm. um, for you to don't know, for you, to, uh, you guys that don't know, I have, I have a brand new book. Um, my hope and wish is to have it published by sometime in the summer. Um, to get over the fear of speaking in public, which I think my hope is once that the book is published, they will lead me to speaking, you know, about the book, you know, to people. Um, so that's just two. Okay. Third one is to visit um, the places where um, Jesus walked. Oh. I think that's very important um, for everyone. I mean, mm -hmm. I think just to take a walk through those steps, you know, where all, where all that happened, you know, it's just, it would just make, you know, it just bring, bring a feeling, you know. Mm hmm for, for those who are religious, yeah. you know, or spiritual people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't say. think you have to be spiritual, even religious, just because, I mean, everybody True. knows the, the history, everybody knows the story. Mm -hmm. But to actually walk it, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like, I, I would imagine that you will feel something. Well, true, it's but I'm like just... Kind of like going, walking through, 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 through where everything happened in the Holocaust or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Places like that. It's, it's different than, than walking through it mm -hmm. and then going to a museum and seeing it. Yeah. You know? But the only reason I brought up, you know, like for people who are religious or spiritual mm -hmm. is that I feel like for those people, it would actually mean more. True, true. You know, to those good point, people. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> now you present your threes. Honestly, I've been thinking... I'm having a hard time. I don't know why I'm having a hard time coming up with my top three things on my bucket list, but one that we do have in common. We do. Is going to the holy. It's called the Holy Land. You know, um, Israel. And like you said, retrace the steps of some of the places that, you know, Jesus went to. Um, go to places like Bethlehem, you know. Galilee, Jerusalem, all those um, places. That That's our ice machine, guys. <laughs> that is something that's definitely also on my personal um, top three bucket list things. Um, the other thing is just um, health-wise, get really healthy. That's that's something that's on my bucket list. You You know how I feel about, you know, like quality food and you know eating organic mm -hmm. and you of know course. and all that kind of stuff um so that's something that's guys on look at this <laughs> my bucket list you can hit somebody play baseball <laughs> i know right <laughs> and then the third thing sorry that's okay the third thing i don't know i may have to go back to you guys on that one no 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 what don't do that i gave three you gave three Okay, by the end of this meal, I should have something. She too uh, to get her way out. Mm -mm. I gotta think, of, think on it. Because you know what? I feel like I'm, we're clearly not the richest people in the world, monetarily wise. But I feel like we're rich in so many other ways, you know? Rich in love, rich in family. Um, we have fairly decent health. It might not be, you know? <laughs> where we want it to be but um 
so I, I feel like any bucket list thing that I I may say may not be you know as big and as deep. It don't matter. It's your bucket as, list. Because I feel like I'm I'm living a good life, you know. Mm. Anything else is just like icing on top of the cake, you know. Mm. It's just extra. So, yeah, I gotta think about it, guys. <laughs> You guys, comment and let us know where are the top three things on your bucket list. Yes. It doesn't have to be deep. No. It could be something, you know, small. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who knows me, well, since I'm saying it doesn't have to be deep, let me be real. I'm going to just be honest because I'm trying to make it deep when... It really doesn't have to be deep. <laughs> I mean, one of the, the, the top ten things, well, not top ten, top three. Um, the top ten. <laughs> <laughs> on my bucket list is to visit all seven continents. That's one of the top three things on my bucket okay, list. Okay, that's more than three. What? No, I gave three things. I said I was waiting for the last one. No, but visit ten. <laughs> huh? You said visit ten. I said visit all seven continents. All seven continents. That's that's one of the things that's on my bucket list. Okay. It's a single item that's on my bucket list. Um, yeah. Comment and let us know. Please do. What is on Share with us. your bucket list? Top three. That's on your bucket list. Could be anything. Doesn't have to be deep. Could be something yeah, else. If you want to go deep and share that in that information with us, go hey, right we'll ahead. welcome it. You mm -hmm. know. Or it could be something as silly as you know, as mine wanting to. It can be it. like, hey, I want to have one. You know, sit down and have some food with you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. want to do a collab with you guys. You know, I want, I want to eat some of your food. You know. Yeah. Is coming to the Ziggy house on your bucket list? <laughs> yeah. Me and Casa Casa. Our doors are open to you. Um, it's also good to, you know, work towards those goals. Mm -hmm. Don't just have them sit on the list and they're not going to happen if you don't work on them. <laughs> right? Sure, but I mean... The time, the the world that we're living in, mm -hmm. everything's been going on, you know, since this all started. I think that it just makes you realize that you only have one life, and mm -hmm. you gotta take advantage of it. Whatever you have it, had in mind, or whatever you have in mind in doing, do it. Don't let it wait because you don't know if you. Whatever will. you have in mind. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> sure. Carpe diem it. Correct. <laughs> yes. And that's why I love that. Mm -hmm. um, because you don't know if you're going to be living tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just do it. Only have one life and know everything's going on. You don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't. So seize the day. <laughs> seize the day. Work towards your goals. Try to make it. It doesn't matter if it's a big goal, a oh, small it goal. It really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, as long as it's your goal and you're working towards making it happen. Mm -hmm. Don't say, no, I'm going to wait until, until next year to come do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait until next month. No, do it now. Yeah. Some, some, there's some folks out there, their goal is as simple as just being able to save $500. Mm -hmm. You know, because saving is not easy for everyone. We've got a little fly that came in yeah. through the back door. Um... Yeah, it's not saving is not easy for everyone. So if your goal, you know, your top three bucket list thing is to, sorry, <laughs> save a hundred dollars or mm -hmm. save ten thousand dollars or something, start working on that. Figure a way out of what you need to do, how to do it, and make mm -hmm. it happen. Yeah. Don't keep saying I'm not doing. Oh no, no tomorrow. Oh no, no. Figure a way out. Mm -hmm. You know, put a plan up in you know together and mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Because if you don't have a plan, a structured plan, then it's not going to come true. Or it might come true, but at a later time. Yeah. 
and I'm not just saying it. It's it's, it's factual. It's true. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a structured plan. You gotta know, you know, where you're going. How you're gonna get there. Yeah. It was just like listen an example because my life is like. I live and breathe travel. This is not my top three bucket list, but it's just something that, you know, that I want to accomplish. One of my goals that I want to accomplish is to visit 50 countries. I call it 50 before 50. So basically, I want to visit 50 countries before I get to the age of 50. And so far, I'm at country what? How many have I done so far? I think I'm at about like 28. I visited 28 countries already. And I'm actively, I'm like, I'm doing the math and I'm like looking and see, you know, okay, I've got this many more years until I hit 50. And then, you know, divide by that many, you know, and minus that much. Okay, so you need to visit this amount of countries to get to 50. So I'm, like he said, I'm devising a plan. So whatever your goal is that you want to accomplish, it doesn't matter how big it is or how small it is, how important, how silly, it's your goal. Yeah. Devise a plan and work towards it, you know? Like, some, I sit down and I devise a plan. I'm like, okay, I need to visit this many countries, you know, I need to do this, this, that, just to accomplish. It's a personal goal of mine, 50 before 50. So whatever it is, big or small, devise a plan, get working on it. <laughs> All right, guys, so... I hope you enjoyed National Barbecue Day. Mm -hmm. And our conversation. And our little conversation. Let us know what's the top three things on your bucket list. Also, let us know what's your favorite barbecue meal. You know, what would you like to have on your barbecue platter? Yes. Okay. So, who's ready to play some bowl? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Thank you so much for being part of the family. If you guys have not subscribed, go ahead and take a minute or two and go subscribe. It takes less than a minute or two. It takes like five seconds. If you guys <laughs> have not um, hit the notification bell, go mm -hmm. ahead. Do it right now while we don't keep continuing. Okay, that takes one second. Okay, guys. <laughs> Make yourself some baked beans. <laughs> yeah, it's here. Have some. I'll, there's one thing I'm going to offer you. Some baked beans. All right. Please share this beautiful channel with everyone that you know and you don't know. Um, with everyone, just share us out, you know, spread the love, spread, let everybody know about us, mm -hmm. you know. We love everyone. We always care about you guys. We're here for you guys. Much love. Till next time. Keeping it real. 20 million dollars, 20 mil. House on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both.